our last poem for this week is called a character poem. So a character poem is written about a character from either your, they're going to say anthology. They just mean the story um, or your textbook or something like that. Um, so basically a character poem is a poem that is written about a character from a story that you've read. So it could be your AR book. It could be our read aloud book that I'm reading to you. So you could pick Millie. You could pick... Um, Alice, you can pick Jeremy, you can pick a character, you can pick Augie from Wonder, you can pick whatever character you want from a story. I do not want it to be from a movie or a TV show, I want it to be from a book. This is a formula poem, so all you have to do is fill in the blanks. So this one's pretty simple, they give you the blanks and you got to fill it in based off your character. Your goal is to give your reader a great mental image of the character by reading your poem. So what they mean by that is when you share your poem with your reader, your reader should be able to picture that character that you're talking about because you are using fourth grade words to describe that character. So below is an example from the story Dragon Gets By by Dave Pilkey. Pretty sure that's the author that does, is that the author that does Captain Underpants, maybe? I think it might be. If not, oh well. Um, Dragon. So Dragon is the name of the character. Blue, hungry, silly. Who loves to eat junk food. Who feels excited to go to the grocery shop. Or who feels excited to grocery shop, I'm sorry. Who needs more food in his cabinet who shows his knowledge of the five food groups, who wants his car to get fixed, who hopes for cheese curls and donuts, who ends up hungry again. So based off this poem, I know that Dragon is blue and silly and Dragon really likes food because it says he's hungry, he likes to eat junk food, he likes to grocery shop, he, he thinks he needs more food in his cabinet, he knows the food groups. Uh, he hopes for cheese curls and donuts, who ends up hungry again. So this dragon really likes food. And I was able to gather that information just from reading their poem, because that author of this poem did a really nice job describing the character dragon. So what you need to do is you are going to think of a character from a book or a story that you've read, and you are going to create something as well. So um, like it said up on the top, all you need to do is to fill in the blanks. They gave you the blanks on your worksheet. So on the top, you put your character from the book and who the author is. So if I pick Augie from the book Wonder by, and then I put the author of the book, which I don't know off the top of my head who that author is, but I would put that author's name where it says by. I would not put my name, I put the author's name because the author is the one who originally created that character. So then, like I said, you, you literally just have to fill in the blanks. So this one's pretty simple. Put your character's name, three adjectives to describe your character. Remember, adjectives are describing, describing words. So if we go back to this poem, their three adjectives were blue, hungry, silly. Those describe the character dragon. And then you tell me who loves, tell me what they love. Who feels, tell me how they feel. Who needs, tell me how what they need, what they show, what they want, what they hope for, and what they end up doing or needing or feeling or whatever. Okay, when you're done, I'm excited to read about your different characters.